We're going to continue from our last tool holder drawing and we'll go to document properties and just double check everything real quick and I'm going to resize the page to drawing so that my boundaries align with my object that I'm creating. Okay, now we're going to create tabs and slots and I'm going to use the periaxial bezier curve tool. Since my material is five millimeters thick and my grid is five millimeters thick, I'm going to sit all of my edges on top. So everything's going to fold in and sit on top of my base. And that will allow me to make all of my tabs within the size of my nominal dimensions. You may put pieces on the side of your base, depending on how you design and just make sure you account for your tabs. Right now, those small pieces are actually gonna sit in the base, and that way when I put the larger sides on, they don't bump into the actual, uh, the smaller sides. So I just made some smaller tabs that sit underneath, and I needed to make them longer so that I didn't have any uh, issues with strength on that corner. And you can see everything that's a tab is going to be 10 millimeters vertically or horizontally. And you can see which, whichever way you're designing for the left side or the right side, or if you're going up and down, you can see how the tabs fit. So they're five by 10 boxes. And again, I'm just going to continue with the Paraxel tool. It's easy for me to line up everything with the grid and then also make sure that I draw my pieces to match. And then that'll be a slot for the tab and the small side piece. So now that I've got most of my pieces designed, I can go ahead and continue meeting the needs of all my slots in all of the pieces. And I'm gonna do it by hand. You could select all and copy them and rotate them and place them. I'm just going to draw them to make sure that I've got everything in the right positions. Okay, now that I've drawn all of my slots and tabs, I'm going to remove all of the lines so I don't cut them off with a laser cutter. And then I will just connect them individually to make sure that I have the right gaps. I need to actually cut that small tab because it's going to separate the two pieces. And there I have one piece almost complete. So I'm going to go through and make sure that I connect all of my slots and tabs in the correct orientation to make sure that the laser will go through and cut just one pass and separate all of the pieces with a good enough tolerance that I can still glue my pieces together. Now you can start to see the design come together and this is where you can check to make sure that all of the pieces are going to fit in the orientation that you have decided upon. And double check you can see I have one tab that is too far over. It's not symmetrical with the rest so I just need to move it over and then adjust my cut lines. Okay, my drawing is complete. I'm going to select everything real quick and then double check my stroke. All my black lines will become red because everything is going to get cut 
and uh, I'm going to use 0.2 millimeters so you can see the stroke width. And that's ready for the laser cutter. I'm going to save my design. And then I'm ready to go to extensions and Win32 vector print in order to laser cut from Inkscape.